Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in once again. Today I will watch the first episode of Ethos, Bir Baskadir, and it was funny. I had never come across Bir Baskadir when I'm trying to find movies or series uh, from the internet. And then one of you wrote like, can you please watch Bir Baskadir? Ethos. And I was like, oh, Ethos, I, that's on Netflix. I have seen Ethos. So now I will give this series a chance. So I will watch uh, the first episode and of course you will see my reactions if I, if I have any. I haven't read anything about this series, so everything will be a total surprise for me. I actually like it, you know, there's no prejudice, I don't know what I will see. But when I watched on Netflix, uh, the synopsis of this uh, series, I can see that this is sentimental, cerebral. I don't even know what that means. I try to Google it, but I don't understand the word. And then emotional. So uh, once again, sentimental and emotional. You know, I think I will like it. But what happened with Paper Lives? It was also sentimental and emotional, but I didn't get one single tear. So, uh, we'll see what happens with this one. Without further ado, let's start watching Ethos. <laughs> that looked really nice. It has been like maybe five minutes and the camera is still all the time. I'm totally focused on that character and I'm waiting something to happen. So far I have good feelings about this series now. What did she she? What? Meryem, ne güzel ismi. İsrail'e selamım annesi. Hemen iş yamamla. Çok güzel bir isim. Tabii. Ben zaten koyu renk yazı çok severim. Teşekkür ederim. I like that character already. I could see that she might be a little bit different, but there's something really interesting and fascinating about her too. I think there's something that I haven't seen yet. Nuray abla ona demiş, Meryem demiş, bir peramla görsün diye söylemiş. Sonradan benimle konuştu, sevk etti. Ben dedim ama hani öyle bir sıkıntı yok şükür. Nasıl bir sıkıntı? Ne gibi? Bunalma gibi yani. I feel like Meryem doesn't know why she is there talking with the psychologist. And I also feel that the psychologist doesn't know why Miriam is there as well. They are talking together, but I feel that they don't know why they are talking together. And now I'm like, tell me more. There was a trigger. There's a, a bad person in her life. Az önce Sinan Bey diye birinden bahsettin Meryem. Mahsur yoksa kim olduğunu sorabilir miyim? I like that therapist. I think she's really professional and I like the way she looks and how she carries herself. I, I really like her style. Beni götünü benden bir şeyle sorup durum abla. Tuttuğun zeytini damla sallayıp duruyor. Şifa bulmaya geldim ben sana. Dedikodu yapmaya gelmedim. I came to here to feel better, not to gossip. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> when you go to the therapist, you know, I'm not here for the gossip, I'm here to talk. <laughs> I feel that I want to hug her now, to give her a big hug. Ah, 
gerçekten zorlanıyorum. Tam da bugün yani sana gelmeden böyle bir şeyin olması. Yani gerçekten. Okay, so now this is interesting. So Miriam talks to the therapist about her problems that she doesn't know if she even has. And then the therapist talks to another therapist about her problems. The fast conclusion is that everyone has problems, you know. I think there's probably not one single healthy person in this world. Like, I, I, I honestly feel and believe that every single person in this world would need to see a therapist at least some point of, of life. Sonra işte ufak ufak bir başladı. Evine gittiği adamdan bahsetti. Temizliğe gidiyor adamın evine. Ne yaşıyorsa şapşal. Aşık bayağı adamı. I would guess that that man is abusing Miriam. I, it didn't even came to my mind that maybe she has fallen in love with the man. Buradan çıkacağım gideceğim. Hocama soracağım dedi kız ya. Vaziyet <gülüyor> böyle yani hocam. Ben de bir danışayım konuşayım isterim seninle. Nasıl da zeki bir şey. Zehir gibi bıcır bıcır. Nasıl da güzel. Gencecik, tablo gibi kızın suratı. I agree. Yapamıyorum. Ne zaman başı kapalı bir gelse, otursa karşıma her seferinde saçmalama peri diyorum. Bu düşünceleri, yani bu düşünceler çocukluktan beri yerleşmiş benim kafamın içine bir şekilde. Always. Başı kapalı dediğim öcü gibi bir şeydi annem için. Uh, she was talking about the hijab, right? That uh, she doesn't like to see when when women are covered. For me, if you wear a hijab, you wear a hijab. If you don't wear a hijab, you don't wear a hijab. And for me, it's okay. You know, there's I I look exactly the same way no matter what you wear. Bu dizilerde gördüğüm dünya kırksın. Bu ise Allah'ın topraktan yarattığıdır. Çürür, gübre olur, gene toprağa dökülür. Why they all seem to be so sad? Like really sad. Meryem. Buyur hocam. Psikoloğa gidecektin sen, ne oldu? Ya gidemedim hocam. Gidince gelip sizinle konuşacağım inşallah. İnşallah. Good. I have to comment on the conversation between Hodi and Miriam. It looked like it's we against them. And that is a really toxic way of thinking. That it's we against them. It's me against someone else. Of course, we always compare ourselves. Well, I compare myself to others. But usually when I start to compare myself, I end up always being sad. I think you should never compare yourself. Of course, people have a natural desire within ourselves to be better. So it's normal, we want to be better. But when you compare yourself to someone else, there's always someone better than you. I think the best is no comparing. It's really interesting topic. It's nice to see different uh, points of views. I like that. And I really like the character Miriam. Var mı hastam? Ee, vardı senden sonra biri ama iptal ettim. Beraber çıkalım istersen. Aç mısın? Bir şeyler yiyeceğim ben. Kardeşim gelecekti, onu bekliyorum. That is funny because it seems so professional. Like I'm talking to a therapist. And then after a while, ah, can we go out for lunch? Haftaya görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. My goodness I never expected her to give that face you know that that was really bitchy you know when you are talking with someone everything is cool you're like friends and then when that someone goes you're like
İptal etti hastam diyordu Gülbin ama gelmiş galiba değil mi? Yok Peri Hanım danışan değil hanımefendi. Hocanın kız kardeşi. Okay, that explains the bitchy face. Canın sıkılmış senin. O hastaya mı takıldı aklım? This is like a chain of characters. Everyone is talking to another person. And I think that is so true. If I'm talking to my friend, my friend is talking to her friend. Her friend is talking to her mom. Her mom is talking to her husband. And, and that's how it probably goes. But that's something that we never think of. Çarşamba bu günde mi? Kim ya? Meryem günaydın. Günaydın Sinan Bey. Meryem, misafirim var. Bir kahve yapsan süper olur ya. Kettle'a basıyorum Sinan Bey. Tamam, sağ ol. That was the first episode of Ethos, Bir Baskadir. And I have to say I liked it. And the way that episode ended was so cool. Like everything came together at the end. And I can actually give you a movie recommendation that I like. It's called The Crash with Sandra Bullock. And I think it won an Oscar, I'm not sure. But it's a really nice movie. And uh, basically that's a movie where, where people's lives comes together in really like surprising way and I, I actually like that it's really interesting if you made it so far thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you like this video and uh, I will see you in the next one bye bye